The peak hour factor, or the PHF, is the ratio of design hour volume to the peak 15 minute flow rate. It's typically 0.8 to 0.95 and describes how peaked the traffic volume is within the peak hour of travel. The peak hour factor is equal to V divided by V sub 15 times 4, where V is the hourly volume and V sub 15 is the maximum 15 minute flow rate within the peak hour. We can also solve for the peak 15 minute flow rate, which is lowercase v, which equals the hourly volume divided by the peak hour factor. So you can solve it going in either direction. Let's take a look at the range of values possible for the peak hour factor. So in one extreme, you could have all the traffic during that one peak hour that occurs just in the peak 15 minutes. So we know it'd need to be a pretty unusual circumstance, but it's something that could happen if you imagine a road that's by a ferry terminal. If the ferry only comes once every hour or maybe even once a day, you're gonna see very heavily peaked uh, periods, particularly as it's unloading. So it may be possible in some extreme circumstances. So let's assume that it was 200 vehicles during that peak 15 minutes. So our peak hour factor is gonna look like this. We're gonna have 200 vehicles in the first 15 minutes or in one of the 15 minutes and then zero in the other three categories. So we have 200 plus zero plus zero plus zero in the numerator and then in the denominator, we have four times 200 vehicles. That 200 vehicles is the volume in that peak 15 minutes, so four times 200. And this is gonna give us a peak hour factor of 200 divided by 800 vehicles which is 0.25. So the minimum peak hour factor you can have is 0.25. On the other end of the spectrum, we can have all traffic evenly spread throughout that peak hour. So let's assume we have that same 200 vehicles. We have 200 vehicles in each 15 minutes, so very consistent. So 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus 200 divided by four times 200 gives us 800 over 800 vehicles equals a peak hour factor of one. So that's the maximum extent of the peak hour factor. All right, let's take a look at an example. And this is more realistic than those two extremes. So we're told, we're given these 15 minute volumes for the, during the peak hour for a roadway and we're asked to find the peak hour factor. So from eight to nine, we've got vehicles in 15 minute increments, 453, 412, 543 and 522. So again, our equation for the peak hour factors, we wanna take that total peak hour volume in the numerator in the denominator four times that highest 15 minute volume. So the peak hour factor is 453 plus 412 plus 543 plus 522 divided by four times 543 vehicles. So this gives us a peak hour factor of 0 0.89, and that is answer C. Now let's actually take a look at solving it from the other direction. So let's say that I told you we wanted to find the peak 15 minute flow rate. So we'll use this equation, small v is the peak 15 minute flow rate, is the total flow of the hour, so the summation of the flow divided by the peak hour factor. So this is gonna be equal to 1,930 vehicles. That's what we get when we add up those four volumes, divide by the peak hour factor of 0.89 is gonna give us a peak flow rate, so that peak 15 minute flow rate of 2,172 vehicles per hour. And we should can also then check that, and that's equal to four times that peak 15 minute volume. So four times 543 vehicles, gives us that flow rate of 2,172 vehicles per hour. So I'm just showing that those do align and those do equal and the math works out in the end of this.